we learn, uh, humans learn at multiple levels at the same time, simultaneously. We don't see a picture of this room if I'm not looking at a picture of pixels, individual pixels in the room. I'm looking at the, 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 the room and the, the people and the faces and the expressions. Um, each of those levels is applying to, to what I'm seeing now, etc. And likewise, um, in a um, in conversation, the pattern of the whole conversation matters, plus the last few things, plus it's the subclauses within the one thing you just said, um, often subclauses within other other clauses, and um, and then ultimately the words. But if you just look at the words you don't gain an understanding, a proper understanding of what's going on. Um, lots of data points. Um, I always believe that lots of data, even if not precise or correct, is more valuable than almost any amount of programmed logic. Um, my scripted AI, even though, um, even though it's much more programmed, it is all about data too, in that it kind of creates virtual data. Um, in its head uh, as to, that predicts what you're going to say next. Um, I added some points at the last minute about no wild cards because one of my basic principles is to look at the whole sentence and the whole conversation of course but, but not cutting out bits to look fuzzily at the whole thing um, and try to avoid uh, admittedly my scripting does allow wild cards but I try to avoid them like a play. Um, just because they give rise to problems, like you were saying, where two things, two things conflict with each other, they match equally for, um, for completely different reasons, etc., and how you resolve them. Um, and, um, yes, and separation of program and data, because I feel that things that um, put XML or bits of programmed logic into the same place as the response I think that's a mistake myself. I try to avoid doing that at, at all times. So my, my, my tools that allow you to create content, so equivalent to an AML editor or equivalent to any other of the tools that you use, um, uh, it's a web interface and you essentially create lists of things um, and you, um, you create uh, expected create outputs and you expect create predicted inputs, etc., each of which is a little element that you create through a simple, as a bit of text, through a plain web interface. No programming, is it? Um, okay. Now, to illustrate this fuzziness point, I put a picture up there um, that's just 30 pixels across. It's analogous to what I think many of our typed sentences are like, in which there are many details left unsa unsaid, and which often contain little errors. You might be able to guess what this picture is of. Have you heard the style of Yeah, exactly. You <laughs> recognize the picture, so you're cheating. But I was deliberately choosing a picture that contains me giving a presentation. Okay, so you did guess that for a particular reason in this case. But anyway, so in general, you might guess that this was a person um, and that that was a presentation screen and that was some text on the presentation. You might do. You might also guess that those were my legs there and that I'm sitting on something. Actually, you'd be completely wrong. I'm not, uh, those aren't my legs. That's a PC sitting in front of me. And I'm, I'm behind a lectern, etc., etc. So, so you can also be wrong. Um, but the important point is context of two types. Firstly, the context that we are here in a room um, with me giving a presentation gives you a very good clue as to what that's a picture of. Okay, so deeper context. But also, uh, another kind of context, if you were to see that as a moving image, you would immediately know, because I'd be moving about a bit like this, you'd immediately know that those weren't my legs. And you'd be absolutely certain that this was a presentation screen because you'd see bits of new text arrive on screen, etc., etc. So even with very fuzzy, poor level of data, you can tell an awful lot if you look at a whole sequence of events. And in, in exactly the same way, if we treat um, text fuzzily, Allowing for typos and other variations 
and we use the context of everything we've known up to that point, um, we can be pretty sure and to know what people mean, and we can disambiguate in that way. In that way. Now, um, she's looking surprised because I've spent so many years of my uh, life working on bots that learn only, um, at, uh, on basically enabling other people to create content. But I thought you might wonder why I'm, I'm doing the opposite now. I'm starting to create, have been actually for um, the last two to three years, been creating tools that allow you to script AIs, so more similar to what everyone else is doing. Um, um, Despite the fact that I believe that no, um, me, neither me nor any team of paid individuals could ever create enough data through um, programming, scripting, etc., whatever you want to call it, um, to actually pass a Turing test. Um, it may be that uh, with the local minima point, etc., that people don't believe that a learning AI of my type, anyway, can do that either, and that's fine, of course. Um, but I think you can get further. But so why have I been doing this anyway? That's the point. So the reasons, um, well, there's a reason actually that's not on that list, which is that it helps to pay the bills, of course. Um, but um, even I recognize that um, you need some control and some predictability and response for commercial usage, etc., of any AI. And um, you need control, basically. Uh, you need to, a script needs to know. I, I call, I use the word script because it's, it's, um, rather like a, um, a, a writing a script for a movie or whatever, except, of course, that it's a branching tree. It's not a, um, a single linear pattern. Um, but you are the creator of, uh, you're writing the content to set your scripting. Next script. Anyway. Um, uh, the system has to know exactly where it is within that script. And, um, and can walk people through complete processes, and control them and help them through complete processes, etc. Um, even, even if there are detours along the way, to get to the right point in that branching tree. So it may move outwards to go through a hundred different questions at this point, and then come back to a, a closing point, etc., etc. Imagine a sales process or something that you're applying it to. Um, Something that um, Jabberwocky and Cleverbot have never done is this extraction of data point. Um, uh, the scripting allows you to do that, to take data out of the middle of the, con the words and the sentence, etc., etc., like others. Um, and, but also to keep track of things, um, to have variables, etc., with things like emotional state and so on, um, that everyone here would also do. Um, like, um, again, like many of you are also doing, it allows us to pull on external sources of data, um, whether they be APIs to get product information or whatever, or um, Wikipedia, and include them into the content of the responses it gives. Um, and, um, but also, the final point, um, doing this work on, on creating um, scripted AI is helping me to um, learn new, or to, to create new ways of making the system learn, fundamentally different ones. And, and one of them has already been examples here of uh, asking a disambiguation question. Um, and then when you have um, uh, given your input, it adds to a category, adds to a list, of a little text list, uh, learns that you refer to, um, you use this special word um, to mean, um, to mean something that is usually considered a, a complete sentence, let's say. Uh, so you just add it to a list, maybe just on behalf of that one user, so you learn how that one user talks, etc. And will respond properly next time. Um, but more than that, I intend to improve the way Cleverbot works by uh, breaking up language automatically into phrases, um, into which are essentially lists of equivalent ways of saying things. Um, so that, it, uh, so that it can know, um, essentially, if language is broken up for my learning AI, it can know, it can consider more things from its database and have a bigger pool of possible responses to consider, um, and therefore should show more intelligence. Um, 